but Microsoft released a study about a week ago called Working with AI, Measuring the Occupational Implications of Generative AI. But uh, Microsoft has come up with this list of the 40 jobs most at risk of being replaced by AI and the 40 jobs least at risk of being replaced by AI. The top mm. 40 occupations with highest AI applicability score, most at risk, sorted alphabetically, advertising sales agents, archivists, broadcast announcers and radio DJs. Glad they left podcasters out of that. I'm safe. <laughs> Brokerage clerks, yeah. business teachers, post-secondary, CNC tool programmers, yep. concierges, counter and rental clerks, uh, uh, wait a customer minute. service. A concierge kind of at a hotel human in greeting someone doing whatever. I totally disagree with that, but anyway. Customer service representatives, data scientists, demonstrators and product promoters. I thought you meant the ones on the street demonstrators. I thought you meant the ones on the street waving flags and placards. Sorry. Like Editors, farm and home management educators, geographers, historians, hosts and hostesses, interpreters and translators, library science teachers, post-secondary, management analysts, market research analysts, mathematicians, just straight up mathematicians, you're all out of work, models, Maybe. models, because we wow. can just create AI models now. Yeah. News analysts, reporters, journalists, passenger attendants, personal financial advisors, political scientists, proofreaders and copy markers, public relations specialists, public safety telecommunications, sales representatives of services, statistical assistants, switchboard operators, technical writers, telemarketers, telephone operators, ticket agents and travel clerks, web developers and writers and authors. Did you read out all of them? That's the top 40. 